In a brand new political ad, the mother of a fallen Navy SEAL Team 6 member says the White House, quote, put a target on her son's back following the bin Laden raid. Take a look at this. Aaron called me. His tone was extremely serious. And he said, Mom, you need to wipe your social media clean. Get rid of everything, any reference of me or my buddies, because there's chatter. And all of our lives are possibly in danger, including yours. Defense Secretary Robert Gates is very concerned too much classified information has gotten out. We all agreed that we would not release any operational details from the effort to take out bin Laden. That all fell apart the next day. Navy SEALs and what they did uh, last, last Sunday. How dare they? They put a target on my son's back and even on my back. But a little over 90 days later, my son was dead. National security leaks threaten American lives. We need leaders who understand that. Veterans for a Strong America is responsible for the content of this advertising. Joining me now are the parents of fallen Navy SEAL Team 6 member Aaron of Aaron Vaughn, uh, Karen and Billy Vaughn. Uh, thank you both for being here. Um, I'm very, very sorry about the loss of your son and a true American hero. Thank you for being here. Thank you, Sean. Thank you, Sean. When you say that they put a target on my son's back, explain. Well, you know, here's the way I look at it. It's very simple. When we go uh, across the country and we take out the main figurehead for al-Qaeda, for everything that's been waged against our country, um, it's very simple to me that if we announce who was responsible for that, that all hell for a lack of a better phrase, is going to break loose on the people that are responsible for taking that man out, at least all attempts possible. So that's what I mean by putting a target on his back. You know, they didn't have to mention this was SEAL Team 6. They, they could have announced the, the um, <clears throat> uh, bin Laden was, was killed. They didn't have to say who did it, what branch of the military did it. Is that, what, is that in part what you're saying? Absolutely. Um, yes, absolutely. I can tell you that the community was stunned by the announcement. It was uh, unprecedented and extremely dangerous. What do you think? The, the president's been out there spiking the football as part of a campaign issue that he got bin Laden and, and bin Laden's dead. But yet when when your son and, and SEAL Team 6 members, when they got him, we were told we couldn't show the body because it would inflame tensions of, of radical Islamists. Um, do you find that hypocritical? It's very hypocritical, Sean. Um, how, how do you inflame these people? Uh, we can't make them any, any angrier at us anyway. Uh, our, our warriors need to be allowed uh, to carry out the missions that they're assigned, and uh, uh, they don't. They don't. They need to. Keep, they need their identities kept secret. But they need to be allowed to go and fight and do what they're trained to do. These these elite warriors uh, can do anything they want to to the Taliban, uh, to Al Qaeda. Uh, if this administration, if President Obama would just recognize the enemy, uh, give them rules of engagement that favor them instead of leveling the playing field for the enemy, and give them the equipment that's uh, required to carry out their missions. And I mentioned those three things because those are other issues that we have found uh, in, in searching and looking at what happened to Aaron and those warriors on that night. All three of those things uh, uh, were, were reasons why this chopper was shot down, why this largest loss in, this, in a single day in the 10-year war on terror uh, was caused, and also the largest loss in the history of naval special warfare. It um, let me, can I, let me ask you this, because the rules of engagement, a lot of people don't know this. There was a father of another fallen hero um, who was angry at a form letter that was sent to him. And, and he has spoken out and was just aghast that it was a form letter and that the rules of engagement that these guys are working under, this is a war. You don't put, you don't put handcuffs on heroes and send them out there to fight. Otherwise, bring them home. There's, there's no point. As you watch that, as you watch the Benghazi cover up um, and your son knowing that you are all at risk, I can't imagine how you feel. I mean, there's nothing worse for a parent than losing their child. 
Sean, it's, it's all the same. The Benghazi cover-up, what's going on in the Middle East, what's going on in Afghanistan, is all because of this president's ideology and the strategy being used by our military and our president is directly responsible for the rules of engagement. Let me just say this. On the night that Extortion 17 was shot down, this is all from the military. We learned that the Afghan National Army, the Afghan National Police, and the Afghan uh, Security Ministry are all involved in every single uh, special ops mission. In the pre-planning, the post-op, they know the flight routes of the choppers. That chopper flew in there that night in a place that had already been cleared seven times, according to our military, by our warriors, and turned back over to the Afghans. A a three-and-a-half-hour firefight underway and our chopper flew in with an AC-130 gunship in the air, two AH-64s, and they were not allowed to give any pre-assault fire. Right. They landed the chopper like it was landing at Walmart, even though a firefight was underway. When the chopper was shot down, neither were the AC-130 or the two AH-64s allowed to take out the the savages who fired the RPGs because they were standing on a tower and under the rules of engagement they didn't know if there might be friendlies in the building. These rules yeah. of engagement are criminal for our warriors. And, I and Sean, agree with if all I can just that. add something. Yeah, go ahead. Last if I word. can add something to that as well. Um, we also found out in the testimony of one of the commanders in the field that he actually said something like this was bound to eventually That's, happen uh, exactly the way right. we're operating. I, I saw that. And exactly right. Last question, and I'm running out of time, but do you want President Obama to stop spiking the football on Obama on the campaign on, on bin Laden on the campaign trail. We well, he doesn't have the character to quit because everything is about President Obama, always about you. But yes, we want him to quit spiking the football and we want him to leave as commander in chief. We want the rules of engagement change and we want right. some high up military officer to have the courage and risk all and scream out what is happening to our warriors. Somebody please have the courage to protect our warriors instead of protecting well, this commander in chief and his cronies. Mr. and Mrs. Vaughn, um, nothing worse than losing a hero, a son. Thank you uh, for telling your story and being with us. You're in our thoughts and prayers. Thank, Thank you, you, Sean. When we come back, the clip.